Today we check out the KSE-10R dropper post. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're checking out the KS E10R dropper post. This is a post that I got off of Amazon a couple days ago, it finally came. It's an external remote dropper post. I don't have, my Marlin doesn't have an internal routing, so I'd have to drill a hole in the frame and then it voids the warranty, so I'm not doing that. This from the reviews, I was reading, it seems to be a great option for those of you that don't have internal routing available for a dropper post. So let's unbox this and see what it comes with. All right, so here is the box that it comes in. Um, obviously it comes in a different shipping box, but this is actually out of the box. So if we open it up, you have the actual physical dropper post and all of the hardware and cable and remote and stuff like that to actually get it working. From what I understand, this is 100 millimeters of travel, which seems like it's gonna be perfect for my application. The insert is about 10 inches, shows about, I don't know, four inches or so that it actually has to be a minimum insert. So this much has to be in there at all times. It's an air shock, which is really cool. And then it's got all this stuff. So I'm gonna open it up and see what's in it. So here this comes with a zip tie and a little cl uh, clamp or something like that. It goes around the seat post and here the directions show that it just goes around and you just, it's to hold the cable. You have the actual cable. You gotta put the end on it. You can see that, but this end here, I'm assuming is the one that goes to the remote. And then you actually have the remote here with a nice little uh, 90 degree bend to go to your handlebars. It's a plastic remote, so it's not the best. But yeah, I'm not gonna open this. There's a little tiny screw floating around in there. I don't know what that does, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. So with that being said, let's put it on the bike, see how it works. Okay, so your first step is obviously to remove the seat. If you don't remove the seat, you can't put the new one in. Next, install the physical dropper post in as low as it goes. Remove your grips to install the remote. Slide the remote onto the handlebars until it's comfortable for you. Tighten the remote down, but do not over torque it. Then simply install your grips back on. Once again, not over torquing the bolt. Then pass the cable without the sheathing through the remote. Put the elbow on the cabling all the way up until you hit the remote. Then simply slide the cable into the sheathing. Comes with this little thing here, you slide this on the cable and then cable slides through here like so. And then you just wanna tighten that onto the cable to hold it on. You wanna pull the cable tight though. You really wanna get this as tight as possible so that the cable does not slip. Okay, well I'll have to, I've lost the cap, the wind blew it away on me. So, you're gonna want to adjust your cables to where it's not going to interfere with anything. But for right now, I'm gonna put my bike on the ground and see how it operates. Nice. So that was the dropper post install. I'll be doing a video actually reviewing the dropper post on the trails and stuff like that so we could see how it actually performs out in the wild. So far, so good, I think. I still need to obviously clean the cables up a little bit, but other than that, I think it's so far really great. So we'll see how it is as time goes on. Link down in the description for the dropper post. If you are interested, go pick it up. Pretty cheap, seems pretty quality. But as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.